Hi, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the uh, options uh, when you're using a work schedule or any real resource. Um, and uh, point out a specific case here. So I have this model. I'm going to describe the model over here. I have the solution model. We have customers arriving every 25 minutes. Uh, that is the source one object creates the customer model entity at a fixed 25 minute. So you'll see them appear every, five, every 25 minutes. Uh, the store server represents the storefront and it closes 60 minutes after it opens. Okay, so once the simulation starts going, after 60 minutes, it'll close. Uh, and you can look at the work schedule and see when it opens as well. Uh, once it closes, um, you know, you'll see a situation where there are these customers that are already inside the store, or they've already begun processing, but then the store all abruptly closes. Uh, so what do we do then, okay? Um, how can we make sure customer then you finish its processing of source? If they're already in there, when a store closes or goes off shift, according to work schedule, how do you make sure they actually finish out, okay? Uh, there are several ways to do this, uh, and really depending on what you wanna do, uh, if you're gonna do something more advanced, uh, what I'm going to show you is probably not which is not enough, uh, but at least if you want to get a quick, you know, result where it's you don't need beyond the simple logic, or you just want the the server to finish processing a model entity, this would get you there. Um, anything more advanced, I uh, could it's probably a different approach. Um, I encourage you to look at some of the other videos to get some ideas. Um, so let's go to this model here. So I have this source, it's creating a model entity every 25 minutes. And let's look at some of the work schedules attached to it already. So I have a store schedule. Uh, or they open, it's only open for one hour, from 30 minutes after the start of simulation, because simulation starts at midnight. It's open for one hour and it suddenly closes, or it's on shift for an hour and it goes off shift. Okay. And see the work schedule is already set up, process time is 20 minutes. Okay. So and this is my clock here. So I can take a look at here. So once it hits 1.5, I should see, once it hits 0 0.5, I should see the store turn on. Okay, and once this value goes 1.5, the store goes off shift. Okay, so let's run this, make sure that's what happens. Let's see, go to 0 0.5, switch second here. See the customer rate. So 0 0.5, the store turns on. Okay, and once it hits 1.5, you'll see, so these customers are getting processed, right? They're, they're getting processed at the store and they're leaving. But once you hit 1.5, you'll see the store basically close. So now it closes. The problem is there's already a model entity that started processing at the store, but now they're stuck, right? They're stuck until the store becomes back on shift, okay? So how do we deal with this situation? Okay, there are built-in functions in Simulator that deal with this uh, specific issue. Now, again, if you want to do something more advanced, this is probably not what you need, but if you just want to take care of, it, prevent that issue where a model entity gets stuck there, um, it's very simple. When you go into the server on the, on the off shift rule here, um, there are different options. There is a suspend processing and then finish work already started. Okay, so if you select finish work already started, okay, it'll prevent this issue. Or if you have a monitor that has already started, it'll finish processing even though the store is technically off shift. Okay, so let's run. And you'll see again, uh, this, this will be a quick you know, fix here. Let's see here. And once it's at 1.5, previously we had a monitor to get stuck in there. So, on, so I'll try to pause it right before. Okay, so there's a model entity here, the customer, it's already started processing. Once it hits 1.5, the store is gonna go off shift. In the previous case, this customer was stuck in here, okay? But now you'll see that the store or server will finish processing this model entity, okay? Oh, uh, let's see. So see, now it's gone, okay? So you see the model entity finished and it left. Okay, uh, this is a new model that entered from source. No, let me turn that off. Okay, so I'm going to set a condition here, stopping condition, maximum time. I want to stop introducing model entity uh, coming in 
Um, I don't know, let's say 1.5. It's probably not. Let me coincide it with yeah, 1.5 in this case. That's how the server ends. So let me stop it. We run this, speed it up a little bit here, or a lot. Four turns on, it's going, going. At 1.5, you'll see it go off shift. So I don't know now. So now you see there is a model integer, but this model entity is not actually stuck. It'll get it'll finish processing because it says finish work already started. So I'm gonna click on it and you'll see this model entity get processed and leave the system. Okay, so that's how you take care of the specific issue. Um, let's take a look at a case where you add a secondary resource. Okay, so what if you have this attendant? That's the same situation. Uh, you have a customer arriving every 25 minutes. The store opens uh, or closes 60 minutes after it opens. Okay. Um, the customer cannot be processed and stored with the attendant, though. The attendant goes off shift after 50 minutes, 55 minutes from the start of the shift. Okay. How can we make sure the customer to finish its process and store it? So, same situation now, but with the secondary resource attendant. Okay. So, how do we make sure that we don't get a case where a mod is stuck in the store again? Okay. So, let's go to. Um, the male model here. Uh, so this is a new case. I've added the attendant. Uh, so every 25 minutes, you have customers arriving. The attendant is currently on a work schedule. Um, so let's get the attendance day. It starts off 40 my 45 minutes after submission starts. Uh, it's on for an hour and it goes off shift. Okay, it's similar with the store, right? Um, let me put a stopping condition in the store again so I don't have the same issue. Previously, it's 1.5. Uh, so if I look at the store, I've already set up the secondary uh, resource. So you have an attendant, you need an attendant to process anything. And right now you see there's off shift rule now, it's just suspend process, right? So let's, let's run it and see what happens. So once it hits 0 0.5, so right now, you know, you have customers waiting at the store. 0 0.5, nothing still happens because the attendant's not there. Now, uh, robot 75 until it shows up, it starts processing, right? Okay, so after an hour though, um, you, you'll see that the store closes and the tenant also closes. Uh, they might get a key. So let's see. So now the tenant is off shift, the store is also off shift. So now you have this issue where, you know, people are done, right? So, how do we deal with this situation? Um, you know, let me do one more thing first. So initially, we set the off shift rule for the server as finish process, finish process, right? And then when you run this, uh, let me speed it up. So now the tenant is working. At 1.5, you'll see the store go off shift. Okay. So the tenant is still there, right? The tenant is still there, it's still processing. The store is technically off shift, but because we set off finish work already started, it should process this model entity. But let's see what actually happens. Oh, it's a nice little too short. Okay, so this is what I'll do. Um, let's set up the attendant here. Um, let's make, you know what, uh, another thing. Uh, yeah, let's make the um, source increase this to, uh, See one point. No, it's not that. Uh, let's make the attendant shut off after earlier. Make this shut off earlier than the server order at the same time as a. Okay, so one point three five. So I know my um, store closes at one thirty, right? Okay, so I'll match it with. I'll match it with the store. So the store also goes off shift at 1, 1 30 or an hour, an hour after uh, uh, after operations. Okay. So now if I run this, the store currently set, the off shift was set to finish work already started. Okay. The 
Then it's the computer, then it starts working. So it's going and going. And then 1.5. So the store is off shift. The 10 is also off shift, right? But let's see what happens to this. So initially, when I didn't have the 10 as a secondary source, this customer is finished processing and store and left, right? So let's see what happens here. Now, now this customer is stuck in there as before. Okay. Even though we have the off shift rule to finish schedule, finish work already started for the server, it's still stuck. Okay. And it's because it requires a secondary resource. So how do we solve this issue? Easy thing to do is just go to the secondary resource and also change this to finish work already started. Okay. And then if I run this, you'll see immediately like both of them will turn uh, white or off shift again once the clock is 1.5. But this modern entity that gets stuck at the end previously will, uh, gets processed and leaves. Okay. So this is how you make sure the attendant also observe this finish work already started off shift rule. There's one other option for the resource, and that is the secondary resource, which is the switch resource as possible. So it tells you a description what that does. Um, usually, if you have like a list of secondary resources you're coming off of, rather than a specific uh, the resource object, then you can select, instead of doing finish work already started, do switch resource as possible. Then once this tenant goes off shift, it'll go to an alternative if it's available. Okay, so that's how you make sure any model entity that's still in the server or the resource, when it goes off shift, you, if you want that to get finished processing, all you have to do is use the built-in functions to allow that to happen, okay? So hopefully this is helpful. Again, this is only for this very simple case. If you have a more nuanced, difficult case, complicated case, this is probably not gonna be enough. You're gonna have to do a little few extra things here. Um, so, but it, this will at least get, help you take care of that model entity or the customer in this case that's in the server or the resource that has already started processing, okay? So how do you finish processing? So you don't have to wait like overnight until, you know, the work comes back or the store opens again for that customer to be finished uh, servicing, which doesn't make sense, okay? Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, make sure, uh, you know, um, hopefully if, you, if you're doing, do something a little bit more advanced, I just want to encourage you to watch some of the other videos to get some ideas, okay? All right, uh, thanks for watching, take care.